All right, it is that time of year when kids get ready to head back to the classroom. For parents, it means getting back on schedule, helping get your kids back in the groove. It can sometimes be difficult, right? We can all relate to that. But to help kind of capitalize on their first few weeks, uh, we want to make sure we bring in an expert. We got Burkitty uh, Gourmet. She is uh, an accomplished children's author and child psychologist, and she is joining us this morning with all of those things that we need to know before heading back to school. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hi, thanks so much for joining us. So this is a really important Thank topic. You. I think we got all the parents right now. We got their attention. So let's make sure we get right to it. When it comes to getting children back into a routine, it can be very difficult coming from those summer months when it comes to bedtimes, getting up early. So what advice do you have for parents? Yes, we have to set our kids to thrive good for this year. So we have to get your child organized help them organize their school supplies, create an organized workplace, and have overall organized space in the house. The other one is we have to settle into routine. We have to make them settle because every day make it as predictable as you can. Follow the same routine. For example, waking up the time they wake up, the time they brush their teeth, for the time what they eat in breakfast and be around the family in the morning. The other important thing is schedule family time eating dinner together, watching movie together, and as small as reading their books each night. This is very important. Yeah. At last, communicating with their teachers, because you communicate with your teachers to see that what's the insight in the school and to see if they achieve their goal and then if they're up to the expectation of their schoolwork. Yeah. So these are very important thing for kids to try this year. And we know physically it can be difficult just getting out of bed, right? Getting to school, trying to stay awake sometimes during the classes, trying to stay focused. But mentally, it's a big part, too, because you are making new friendships. You're meeting new teachers. Some of the classes uh, may be something that they're not used to. Uh, so kind of talk mm -hmm. to us about how to prepare our kids mentally when going back as well. Yes, especially after pandemic, everything has been hard to get friends, to talk to people, how to approach people. So reading a book is very important because if they read a book for their kids from the, the book characters, it show them how to communicate with their children, how kids can express their positive and negative emotions, how to create friendship. These all things come from reading a book. So if they read a book for their kids, they will understand. The kids will understand how to communicate very well and how to express this feeling. So it all starts from the house. Make sure you have a good reading time, communicate with, with your kids every day. Yeah, and I, and I when you talk about communication, you're right, it is extremely important to have that communication, both with your children, but also with the teachers. I, I guess my biggest thing is, how do you get them to sometimes open up? I know after a long day, the last thing they wanna do is to come home and sit down and have a conversation with you. What would you recommend to maybe getting them to uh, open up to us a little bit? Yes, kids have to see something from something to kind of express what they feel. Let's say if you read a book for them and part of the book, the story is about a child communicating with her mom or a child communicating with their dad, then they can say, oh, this child is saying something. So let me just say also what I feel. So kids have to see something from uh, uh, from the books or a movie they see. So make yeah. sure like they are uh, exposed to books. And um, can you hear me? Yes, we can. We still got you. All right. Sorry, I think we got this. All right, well, Burkhetti, thank you so much for taking the time. We appreciate it. Some really good advice there. Uh, we hope you have a great day. Thank you.